All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to a uh, a block daily event that I'm going to play on Saturday the 28th. This is sort of a sequel to uh, my deck tech I put up on Wind or on Friday. Uh, streaming kind of bugged because of FF split problems, so I'm going to be looking into that. Maybe going back to FMLE, and we'll see how that will go for live streaming. As always, follow me on Twitter and whatnot uh, to see uh, to see what's happening with that. Um, but here we are in a daily event. Uh, this is around when we're playing the same anti John Boros list we were playing before. I'm going to mulligan this hand because it's slightly too slow. This hand I'll keep. It's not great, but it's uh, it's fine. We have two champions of the parishes, which will have an aggressive start, but we are going to need to 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 draw like some red mana. But I I don't I think this is better than most fives. We have a good aggressive start. All right, so pretty standard uh, John deck opening. We drew pretty much the, one of the best cards we could have. So we'll lead with champion. Uh, do you have a ranger? Oh man, I really want to block that, but I don't think I can. Slip, no slip, sweet. All right. It's so like if he goes mountain. Oh no, even mountain hunt master here is not that bad. He could just be the black green deck that's been uh that's been going around. Like that deck is fine. I think I actually want to just brimstone this here. Yeah. Uh, this is worse against Wolf or Avenger. Maybe I should have attacked first. Okay, well, I really hope he doesn't have Wolf or Avenger. Okay, he didn't. Good. Alright. Uh, just because now he can't Silverheart this turn. And that would be, uh, pretty annoying. I actually probably should have pumped the, uh, the one power just in case he drew, like, a, um, an Avenger. Then at least I would trade my lower one. Alright. Tell ya. Oh wait, could I have won the game? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, I could have won the game. My bad. I'm sorry. I just I didn't realize I could actually cast uh Silver Heart or Zealous this turn. And someone's messaging me on Gmail. One second. Don't judge me for using IE because uh all my other browsers have been crashing. So I'm like stuck with some weird mix of IE and Chrome right now. Alright. Yeah, this is actually pretty bad. Like we should still win. Like I don't see us losing this. Alright, Silver Heart, number two. Alright, so we're gonna zealous, and this should hope. Uh, he actually can't even slip because of Thalia, so. Yeah, we got this pretty locked up. Excellent. Alright, so it looks like he's just green black, which is a deck I'm very, I find myself very favored against. Um, so. Now, there are a few things. Let's, first, let's check out his, uh, his list. Uh, yeah, let's. Okay, sorry, someone's just missing me on Gmail. So let's check out his list. This is the thing that I think every Moto player should do, is just look at your opponent's list. It's completely free information you can get during sideboarding. And there's no, like, yeah, if you're, sure, if you're practicing for a big tournament, you, like in paper, yeah, you probably don't want to do it. But, uh, okay, so it looks like he's been on Naya, but uh, that's certainly not what we're playing against. Okay. So I'm going to assume he's just the green-black deck. Or he was horribly color-screwed. Like, that's possible, but... Uh, I think I'll want Pillars, because the green-black decks play Strangaroot Geist, and Pillars are very good. Also good at killing our mana orcs, especially on the draw. Um, I could cut Brimstones. Oh, sorry if that came out of weird. I could cut Brimstones, I could cut the Stroke. I don't know if he's red. Like, like he might just... Alright, well, we'll, we'll draw it like this. I just... Yeah, like we didn't see anything we really want to brimstone. Oh, uh, I know he could have Garrick, and Brimstone's pretty good against Garrick. But Stroke is good against Curse, which I'm pretty sure he'll be bringing in. Smite is probably fine. I could cut one Smite because he has he has Silver Hearts, and then I don't know if there's anything else they play that's. Um. 
Yeah. Okay. We'll here. Let's run one brimstone, one smite, and then the color. Okay. Ah, this is awkward. So we have the champion and then three double weight spells. I'm gonna mulligan. It's keeping greedy hands is something you. It's like you lose a lot of games with this deck by creeping greedy hands that you think ah oh, I'm so close to like crushing him and then you just don't get there. Your deck is not consistent enough to be able to uh, keep suboptimal hands like that. And especially to our opponent mulligan, I'd rather be safe and slightly slower than just not be able to do anything except play a 1-1 for perhaps several turns. Alright. Okay, so he has Jund, like he was just costume, but Black Green is, is a deck people play. Alright, so he missed his land drop. Multiple Zealous Conscripts are actually very, very good. I, like you can you play the game completely differently. So this is just playing this game pretty standard. We're gonna attempt to deny his mana when we can. All right, double strike engaged. All right, I should probably take this iTunes. Uh, add in off for when I'm recording and not streaming. So this is 10. Uh, Alright, uh, yeah, there's no, like, I can play Zealous Conscripts, untap a land, or steal a mountain, and that'll be 5 plus, that'll put them to No, I don't. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think I. I need to. I think we've got him regardless. Excellent. Won the match. We will see you in round two.